The steering system incorporates a tilt telescopic column with tilt memory for maximum driver comfort and individualized adjustment. The tilt and pop-up mechanism is similar to the Legacy. The tilt adjustment lever is located on the lower center of the steering column. The telescoping adjustment lever is on the lower left side of the steering column. Pull the lever down to allow the wheel to telescope in and out. The pop-up lever is located on the upper left side of the steering column, similar to previous models. The Subaru SVX is equipped with a conventional belt-driven hydraulic pump, rack and pinion type steering system. The standard Subaru SVX model uses an engine speed sensing system similar to the Legacy. The Subaru SVX equipped with the Touring Package uses a vehicle speed sensing type system. This will be covered further in the new model introduction class. In the interest of driver protection, Subaru has installed a supplemental restraint system, SRS. Better known as a driver's side airbag, as standard equipment. The SRS system requires special handling during servicing. However, it is no more hazardous to work around than other vehicle components, such as the battery, gas tank, or air conditioning system when handled properly. Specific details will be covered in the new model introduction program. Now for the suspension. The McPherson strut type four-wheel independent suspension is similar to the Legacy system. This aggressive system offers enhanced lateral roll stiffness, driver response, and ride comfort. Front toe and camber and rear toe are adjustable. A-shaped front lower control arms and the use of large capacity silicone filled mounts improve suspension stiffness and the isolation of road induced vibration. The front suspension also has a subframe with an additional rear cross brace or performance rod and a stabilizer bar which produce improved ride and handling characteristics. The front stabilizer bar is mounted through the front cross member. Instead of the familiar one-piece bar, this two-piece bar is splined on the left end to facilitate installation and removal through the cross member. The stabilizer and the link arm are marked with paint to provide proper alignment during installation. The stabilizer bar is connected to the upper strut assemblies by using ball joint connecting rods which help improve roll stiffness during cornering. The rear suspension, which is also similar to the Legacy design, uses trailing links, front and rear lateral links for each wheel, and a rear stabilizer bar. The rear suspension is attached to a floating subframe, which is mounted to the vehicle on large capacity rubber mounts, which reduce the transfer of road noise and vibration to the passenger compartment. In order to improve rear toe control during braking, the trailing link angle has been increased from that of the Legacy. A support bracket for the front of the rear differential housing controls differential movement in response to the high output torque of the engine. A modified free ring tripod joint is used in place of the front inner double offset joint. This free ring tripod joint has lower sliding resistance and increased strength. Both rear axle shafts employ a double offset joint for the inner joint and a constant velocity joint for the outer joint. The inner double offset joint on the right side of the rear axle shaft has a double set of male splines. The splines engage the center carrier and the viscous coupling of the limited slip rear differential. The inner double offset joint on the left side has a single set of male splines. Both axle shafts are held in place with a C-ring. The high-performance 16-inch Bridgestone Potenza all-season 50 series radial tires provide superior control, maneuverability, and road handling characteristics on all types of road surfaces. These specially designed tires are directional. The tire direction is marked on the tire sidewall. The tires must be installed with the arrow pointing in the direction of forward rotation. The stylized aluminum alloy 16 by 7.5 inch wheels reduce unsprung weight and contribute to vehicle stability, maneuverability, and improved ride comfort. The rims are also directional. The left side wheels are marked with an L next to the valve stem. The wheels for the right side don't have any markings. The wheels must be installed in the proper rotational direction. In addition, the enlarged wheel mounting nuts use a captured flat washer instead of a bushing insert as on previous mag wheels. In addition to what we've already covered, 
there are some other significant vehicle systems found on the Subaru SVX. The exhaust system uses dual front monolithic trinal catalytic converters for low restriction exhaust flow. The exhaust gases then flow to a common rear catalytic converter, to a sub muffler, and through the rear exhaust pipe to the stainless steel main muffler which has dual outlet pipes. These components provide improved emission control, enhanced engine operation, quieter exhaust gas flow, and improved exterior aesthetics. The new two-chamber nylon reinforced plastic fuel tank reduces weight and eliminates fuel tank corrosion. As seen in this cutaway, the fuel pump, jet pump, and sending units are installed inside the fuel tank. This reduces operational noise and minimizes component space requirements. Exercise extreme caution when servicing the fuel tank or any of the fuel tank components. Follow these safety precautions. Inform other personnel in the area that you are disassembling the fuel tank. Work in a well-ventilated area. Use a fan to circulate fresh air through the vehicle. Disconnect the battery prior to working on the fuel system. Do not connect or disconnect any electrical connectors when the tank is open or disassembled. And finally, don't create sparks of any type. To gain access to the fuel tank, lower the rear seat backrest and lift up the trunk mat. Then, remove the access cover from the trunk deck. Use the Subaru Special Service Tool to remove the spanner nut. Carefully remove the fuel tank components following the procedures found in the Subaru SVX service manual. The headlamp system uses an onboard aiming system to adjust the horizontal and vertical deviation of the headlamp beam. Aiming is conducted by adjusting the combined high and low beam reflector assembly instead of the entire headlight housing, which improves headlamp aiming accuracy. Position the vehicle on a level surface and check the gradient on the outboard side of each headlamp assembly. Align the index mark with the wide center line gradient to provide horizontal aiming. Then, check the position of the air bubble in the leveling mechanisms of both headlamp units. For correct vertical positioning, the air bubble should be centered. The low beam headlamp is a projector type lamp. This lamp produces a better quality light by reflecting the light beams off a one piece lens and then through a convex lens. White fog lamps are contained in the headlamp assemblies and are located between the high beam lamps and the grill. A subtle feature found on the Subaru SVX is vehicle speed sensitive intermittent front wipers. This means that the cycle frequency automatically increases as the vehicle speed increases. In addition, the front windshield wiper system provides a concealed summer park position and a winter park position for the wipers. The winter park position prevents the wipers from being covered with snow and ice while located below the hood. The winter summer park position is controlled by a switch located on the driver's side lower instrument panel. This concludes the presentation of the Subaru SVX light technical overview. Should you have any questions, refer first to the video reference booklet, and then to the other references mentioned throughout this program. Remember that this is only a brief overview of the vehicle, its characteristics, operating capabilities, and vehicle systems. As an integral part of the 1992 Subaru SVX New Model Introduction course, this program is not intended to stand alone as New Model Introduction training for technicians. It is, however, designed to quickly introduce dealership service personnel to some of the outstanding technical features of the 1992 Subaru SVX.